In this training, we're going to do a quick overview of commercial designs in Helioscope. We have additional trainings that go into specific detail on some of the things we're going to cover here, so this is going to be real fast. We also have uh, really in-depth webinars three times a week that you can sign up for. But in this one, we're going to do real quick. So once you get into the designer, you're going to select your mapping tool in the top right, and then define a field segment. So you're going to click around the roof, basically just clicking into each corner. And if you hold shift, you'll get 90 degree angles. And when you get to the last point, you'll just double click and that'll end the shape. So we've got our field segment defined. You'll search for a module and select it and the dimensions of that module will come in. And now you can set the azimuth. So you can do that manually or you can right click on the midpoint of a line and it'll automatically set the azimuth. You can also give it a height and view the design in 3D by holding shift and clicking and dragging your mouse up. So here we can see the design from the side and we can change the tilt and see the effect of that tilt and sort of estimate the inner row shading that we see there. We can adjust the row spacing manually to hit a specific racking or we can use time of day analysis or ground coverage ratio to automatically space the modules based on the, the local requirements. If we uh, click recenter view will be from the top down and we can set the setback distance on all edges and we can also go now to the keep out tab and define objects so I've zoomed in here I've hidden the modules and I'm just drawing around this HVAC unit a keep out so it looks a lot like a field segment but in this case it's removing modules I'm defining a setback on all edges from that object and a height so you can see the shade pattern from that object on the winter solstice from 10 to 2 if I hold the Alt key, I can click and drag and create copies of that object around the roof. So if I just click and drag, I can move the object. If I hold Alt, I'll create a copy. So really quick way to get similar objects defined. You can also define straight lines. So just by clicking once to start the shape and then double clicking to end the shape, you'll get a straight line. I'm gonna give that a height of zero and a setback of two feet. And now I've got a four foot walkway across my roof. I can define this in multiple directions, as many as I need. And you can also define whole areas as off limits. So in this case, I'm just gonna draw this area as a keep out zone instead of a keep out path or a keep out object. It's just a, a zone with a height of zero and modules are removed from that. So now uh, one other thing you can do is if you go to the advanced shading tab, you can calculate the energy loss on a module by module basis. So it's going to look at energy loss for the entire year and it's going to remove the most shaded modules from the design using that slider. So if there are any modules that are left over, you can just right click on them to remove them in the keep out mode. And then the last step here is to define an inverter in the electrical section. So once you've defined an inverter that'll lay out automatically, you can move them into a, a location of your preference. And if you view, view this in the single line diagram, you can see what this looks like uh, in an electrical schematic. You can add and remove combiner boxes and see how the stringing was calculated automatically. If you click save and exit, you'll be taken to the project page where you can download the CAD file. So I'm gonna open this in a CAD viewer and you'll see that this will come with the base imagery as a base layer and so you can turn that on and off and toggle any layers and you can see this is a full 3D CAD file with the spacing between the modules accounted for. Last thing here is if we go to the reports tab we can simulate the energy yield of this system for every hour of the year for that first year. We can see some performance metrics and if we click in we'll get a detailed report. So the energy analysis is on top and the design summary is on bottom. So here we can see what the system's gonna look like. We can change what layers we show the customer. And that's it, it's a real quick intro to Helioscope. If you have any questions, you can chat with us here. You can sign up for one of our more in-depth webinars. We're happy to answer any questions you have.